Benjamin Netanyahu addressed a joint meeting of Congress this afternoon, and Makovic here now with more on the speech. Also, the controversy that it caused even right here in the Bay Area. Yeah, he is in the U.S. helping to shore up support for Israel's 10-month war against Hamas in Gaza. Netanyahu has been sharply criticized over the tens of thousands of Palestinian civilians that, of course, have been killed in this war. He is facing growing international pressure and within his own country to make a deal to secure the release of the hostages held in Gaza in exchange for a pause in the fighting. Outside of today's joint session, protesters were calling for a ceasefire. Netanyahu said they should be ashamed of themselves. They refuse to make the simple distinction between those who target terrorists and those who target civilians, between the democratic state of Israel and the terrorist thugs of Hamas. Netanyahu thanked the U.S. for its help in the war, but urged leaders to fast-track additional military aid so that Israel can, quote, get the job done faster. Dozens of Democrats boycotted the speech. A congresswoman there from Michigan holding up a sign that said war criminal on one side and guilty of genocide on the other. Republicans on the other side of the aisle gave Netanyahu a standing ovation. Yeah, and so we see how passionate people here in the Bay Area are about this, even to the point of not even vocalizing it here. They went straight to D.C., right? Yes, they know that showing up is going to make their voice heard mm -hmm. even louder, and we spoke with some of them today. Free, free Palestine! Free, free Palestine! Now, these demonstrations did get heated at times. Thousands of protesters gathering near the Capitol. Some tried to block streets. Police wearing gas masks blocked the crowds, then later deployed pepper spray once they say protesters became violent. And we spoke with two Bay Area members of the Arab Resource and Organizing Center who were there. It is outrageous that our government would even be allowing this to happen. If any of the leaders who are running for president uh, want our vote, then they need to heed the calls of the people. Yeah, there certainly are political implications regarding U.S.-Israel relations right now. But the Bay Area Jewish Community Relations Council recognizes the complexity. I think he deserves to speak as the head of state. I disagree with many of his policies. And frankly, there are so many different opinions in the Jewish community that we're not making one recommendation or another in terms of how people should be perceiving it. Well, Vice President Kamala Harris, who usually provides over joint meetings right. of Congress, she was out of town today. She is expected to meet with Netanyahu tomorrow. Nancy Pelosi also absent. She met with family members of Israeli hostages this morning. All right, Anne, thank you.